Onk Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onk Live. Perhaps another question is, is the role of, of adjuvant chemotherapy or neoadjuvant uh, chemotherapy for patients uh, where the goal is cure and surgical resection is performed. And I think we have ample data now that uh, adjuvant chemotherapy prolongs life uh, and improves outcomes uh, at five years. Um, similar to uh, the, the stage four advanced stage setting, there are competing standards for the delivery of perioperative chemotherapy. I think most of us rely on uh, the data, the wealth of data that supports adjuvant chemotherapy, four cycles of cisplatin-based chemotherapy, and again, we know that patients who receive adjuvant cisplatin-based chemotherapy uh, do um, garner a survival advantage. Um, but there are others who believe that neoadjuvant, uh, delivering chemotherapy prior to surgery, may provide that same benefit. And I think what we've seen in the meta-analyses is that the benefit with neoadjuvant chemotherapy is similar to that of adjuvant chemotherapy. And there are some theoretical benefits to neo a neoadjuvant approach. Uh, one is that you, you may be able to deliver more often all four planned cycles of neoadjuvant treatment where it may be more difficult to deliver those four planned cycles after surgery. Uh, and the second is that uh, there is new hints and clues that perhaps a major pathological response uh, as um, suggested by uh, a group at Memorial, a uh, major pathological response being uh, less than 10% of viable uh, tumor left after treatment may be a surrogate uh, for outcome and thus you can get an answer whether a drug works or not, uh, more, uh, you can get it quick, uh, more quickly than waiting five to 10 years after an adjuvant study. So clearly competing standards um, with adjuvant versus neoadjuvant, I think uh, in my center, we, we generally rely, rely on uh, adjuvant chemotherapy, four cycles of, of cisplatin-based chemotherapy after surgery, uh, but certainly there are some advantages uh, to delivery uh, of neoadjuvant chemotherapy. So there's really not an optimal patient for neoadjuvant uh, chemotherapy versus adjuvant chemotherapy. I think it really comes down to physician discretion. Um, I think that if there are, the, if there's a possibility that the physician feels like uh, adjuvant chemotherapy will not be able to be delivered uh, after a surgical approach, then neoadjuvant uh, may be a reasonable alternative. But I say for the majority of our patients at our center, uh, we, we try very hard to deliver curative intent surgery first and then deliver adjuvant chemotherapy on the back end.